Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I actually just got back from Sabrina's house. Oh wait, I'm coming here. Let me put you down for a second so I can do this. So I'm gonna talk to you while I do this really quick. So we decided to go on a little trail ride with some friends. Guys, I'm trying to talk here. Right now, I know this looks weird. I'm trying to unscrew this hose because I gotta give Dooley some water. And we moved the hose here a couple days ago to water the sand. So I'm trying to get it out so I can move it. I came back home to pick up the horses and to just do a couple things before we head out on the trail. I'm struggling with this hose if you can't tell. What the heck? Why is this taking me so long? Oh, this is not working. I'm gonna go get a different hose. Hopefully this next hose is long enough. I don't know why that freaking hose was not coming off. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. I'm out of breath, like dang. Is this off? Oh my God, this is not for real. What is going on with these hoses? Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? Okay, we have a problem. How do I give Dooley water if these hoses aren't working? Okay, what do we do, bubs? All right, I gotta think about this. I can't get that hose out either. How do I do this? My hand's already hurting. What the heck? I'm gonna try one more option. Okay, I found a hose. Hopefully it reaches. Let's see. I need both hands for this. I don't know what's going on today, but I'm really struggling here. I should probably name this video struggling with a hose for 15 minutes straight Actually, I feel like it's been more like 30 minutes I've gone to three hoses and none of them work. This one was too short. That one was like cemented onto the faucet This one is not turning, but let's try this one one more time. Oh, there it goes. It moved a little bit. Just kidding I can't get this off. All right. I give up you guys. The hoses beat me. I can't do it The final solution is to just turn him back out with the Yankee. So that's what we're gonna do. I tried my best anyway <laughs> If you guys see this shirt, I don't hunt. I've never hunted. I don't want to hunt. I just like the shirt. I'm coming, buddy. All right, I had to put my hair up because I was sweating because of this whole mission, but I got Dooley with me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn him out with Yankee again just so he can have access to water because as you can tell, I'm struggling with the hose situation. Usually the hose is connected up here closer to this pasture, but like I said, we moved it and now I can't unscrew it from the spot where we moved it to, so that's why I'm having trouble. Usually he's always turned out with Yankee, but since the weather's been nice, we've been putting him by himself in this other pasture. So yeah, that's the story. Come on. Good boy. All right, there you go. Be nice. <laughs> hey, be nice. <laughs> Boys. All right, last thing I need to do before I go is just check on my chickens. Let's see, I think I have to refill their food really quick. Hi, no, 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 no. I'm just here to refill your food because you guys eat so much. Oh man, I don't have my big scooper. So I've gotten a lot of questions about where the stallions go. So Dooley and Yankee are both stallions and they stay in their own pasture. We don't turn them out with the girls, obviously. And they do pretty good. They like to play fight sometimes, but most of the time they're usually good with each other. Rob worked a lot with them when they were yearlings and two year olds. So they're not like this crazy stereotypical stallion. I know that's what a lot of people think about when they think of stallions. They think of like, you know, crazy, wild, uncontrollable horses, but that's not really the case. As long as you work with them a lot when they're growing up, you should be fine. I mean, obviously you have to take certain precautions when you're around mares and stuff like that. These guys are good boys, so yeah, that's just a little update. I always get a lot of comments asking me where the stallions go, but yeah, they go in their own pasture together. Okay, chickens are fed and watered. What's going on, guys? You missed each other? It was only a day, jeez. Look at this mess. What happened to your face? trailer is hitched. I just saw the mailman come by, so I'm gonna go check what he brought. Who else gets super excited when they get mail? I get extra excited when it's packages, but even just envelopes. I don't know why. I get excited. Let's see what I got. Ooh! <gasps> you guys! I just got a package from Tough One. I don't even know what's in here. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. I think that would be fun. Hold on. Okay, I'm on my porch right now. I feel like this is a good spot. Sabrina just texted me and they haven't left yet, so I have some time, so I figured let's unbox this and see what it is. I shouldn't be using my keys. 
That's Big Bird, by the way. He's doing a lot better, as you can tell. So, Tough One is a brand I've seen ever since I started riding horses. They're everywhere, and I, I always see them in feed stores and stuff like that. So, I am so excited to try some of their products. I should have gotten a knife. This is packed up tight. Hopefully, he doesn't do that the whole time. <laughs> in here no way you guys I am so excited it's right on top what I just saw and it's so cute and it just gave me the perfect idea for a video you guys have been recommending this video too so you'll see as soon as I pull it up let me just open it <gasps> this is so cute you guys do I hear a Christmas video coming soon maybe this is the tough one elf horse hat it says let your horse celebrate the holidays by wearing this green and red felt with white pom-poms two ear elf hat great for parades clubs pony rides costume classes and christmas photos quick grip fastener secure the hat to a halter or bridle one size fits most matching items sold separately look at this this is perfect i was literally debating about making a christmas video but now this is confirmation let me know down below if you guys want me to make a christmas video with the horses and let me know what you want me to do exactly oh my gosh this is the tough one three-piece elf halter set so this goes with this let's open it let's open it let's open it look at this you guys how cute is this so this long one goes on the nose band and these go on the sides <laughs> Okay, look at this. Dang, this is a hefty brush. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this side of the brush, I don't know if you guys can see, it's half and half. This side of the brush has softer, thinner bristles, and then this side of the brush has harder bristles. So it's like a normal brush and a finishing brush in one. This is so cool. Oh, you see? Yeah, it's an angled soft slash medium bristle. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this. Maybe I'll take it with me to my trail ride. I see Tough One blankets everywhere. Like, I feel like everyone has a Tough One blanket. As you guys know, we rarely ever blanket the horse. Lately, it's just been going from like 75 degrees to 30 overnight So I really wanted to try one out and tough one was kind enough to send me one This is a tough one turnout medium heavyweight blanket. It's waterproof It has fleece weather protection 3d rings to connect hoods and neck covers double buckle front closures Shoulder gussets for better fit and freedom of movement bar tacked strong crossed sir single belly straps and removable leg straps I don't know if I pronounced any of that correctly, but hopefully I did <laughs> waterproof Rip stop 600 denier, and breathable poly 210D lining, 250 grams of polyfill, and a tail flap. Tell me this isn't gonna look beautiful on crystal. This feels so nice, you guys. Okay, oh my god, I'm like obsessed with this right now. And look at the Tough One logo. I don't know why this looks so cool right there, like red and black, right on the black part of the blanket. I'm so excited to try it on. Maybe I'll put it on her when we come back from our trail ride just to see what it looks like. This is awesome. I honestly, I've never put a blanket on her. I don't know if anyone who owned her before me ever did, so it would be interesting to see how she reacts. For my Halloween video, she did pretty good. Like, she didn't freak out that much to the mummy costume, which I was so surprised about. So I'm so excited to put this on her, see how she reacts, see how she looks. I can't wait to use this one the weather gets cold again. Let me pack this all up so I can head out. They're probably waiting on me. I'm just gonna stuff it in the box. All right, I'm gonna go inside, put this away, and load the horses. <laughs> Happy How did you know a treat was coming? Recording me? Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? Are you ready for our trail ride? Nope. Why? I don't want to ride horses. <laughs> what side am I riding? This one. The squeak. <laughs> <laughs> They're all squeaky. Yeah, you can. Yeah, close it, close it. Just close in case. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now what? Just open the little thing. Okay. Okay. You ready? I was just gonna say that we should go eat somewhere. I did it backwards. She's on her. Oh, yeah. She's to get on yeah. You see, I should, I forgot to do her first. Why are you so impatient? Huh? huh? You can wait. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. I know, right? Trouble. Waiting for trouble. Felipe, open this other door. Can you even say my name right? <laughs> Felipe. Hey, right, dude. Up. Can you chill? Everybody stop. <laughs> Are you gonna make me bleep out every single bad word? Oh yeah! Like seriously? Yeah, do it. <laughs> okay. Good girl. Good girl. I'm just gonna tie her over here really quick. Huh? No, for you. You got? Yeah, you got it. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
you guys. I'm gonna use my new brush. We are on the trail. I haven't had a chance to update you because as you can tell, my hands are full. <laughs> Brandy's doing pretty good. I feel so nervous when I vlog in front of you guys. I don't even know what to say, but my mind goes blank. But um, yeah, how you doing? Chilling like a villain. <laughs> Sabrina, yes. Salome, what's up? <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna get back to riding just so I can pay attention. You know, I don't wanna fly off the saddle if one of them spooks. So far, Brandy's doing good. bear in the middle of the trail we had to turn back all the horses ran away I was about to pull out my camera but then the horses started running so I was like you know what that's a good idea and we ran away they want to go back and see it but you guys I'm so scared I don't want to like it looked like a baby and what if the mom's around I cannot believe that just happened you guys we literally just ran into a black bear in the middle of the trail what the heck okay everyone's going back I guess I have to if I was alone maybe I'd go back like if I didn't have brandy with me but since I have her with me I'm like I don't want to I don't want to go back because I can't like maneuver easily with her oh my gosh they're crazy they want to go back down the trail trailers it's getting pretty dark so we decided to turn back a little bit earlier we ran into a bear I already told you guys about that and Brandy actually got away from me we went in between like how do I say that thank you we got separated by a tree so I had to let go of her lead rope but thankfully she didn't run all right you guys we are back at the trailers I just intact crystal this ride was a little crazy I feel like I was just all over the place a couple things happened I don't know if we're gonna go out to eat either way I have to go drop off the horses at home let's go see how they're doing hi <laughs> Did you have fun, baby girl? It is so dark outside. Brandy did such a good job. Nope, no treats yet. All right, you guys, I am back home. I'm in my bedroom with my Christmas tree. I actually filmed myself decorating this on my other channel, so if you want to see that video, I'll leave it linked down below. But yeah, so I thought I'd give you a little recap on our trail ride today, because I know I didn't vlog too much on the trail, because my hands were full and a lot was going on. There were so many horses, so I just wanted to be in the moment, focused in case anything happened. And guess what? A bunch of things happened. <laughs> First of all, I know I talked about this a little bit. We ran into a bear, like there was a bear on the trail. I was on Crystal, obviously ponying Brandy, and the bear was about like 20 to 25 feet in front of us and crystal was the first horse my friends were behind me but crystal had freaked out first and she goes like this and i'm like what is she looking at right because she was all tense and like her ears were straight forward and i'm like what is she looking at so when i look i see there's a black bear right on the trail and i'm like bear 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 so i was just in shock but as soon as i was saying bear 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 i was like trying to like slide my camera out of my fanny pack because i wanted to vlog it for you guys but when they realized what that i said bear they all turned around and started running so i obviously couldn't pull out my camera because crystal and brandy turned around as well and started running too so yeah we all started hauling back or running away from the bear it was crazy and i sucks because i wasn't vlogging it i want to get one of those like i don't know like helmet cams or what is it um a gopro or something because i want to vlog these moments when crazy 
crazy things happen like that. Like, that was insane. Oh my gosh. Besides that, Brandy got loose. I know I talked about it a little bit, but on our way back to the trailers after our trail ride, the horses always get antsy and excited, and then that's when they start like picking up their gates. They start like trotting a little bit and speed walking, sometimes loping. So, of course, our horses started getting excited to go back to the trailer. Crystal was excited going. Brandy was excited because Crystal was excited, so they were both trotting. And there's a big tree in front of us splitting the trail down the middle. And then, of course, Crystal goes on one side, Brandy goes on the other. And I'm like, I'm not gonna hold on to the lead rope because what's the point? I'm just gonna like whip Brandy around. Crystal's gonna keep going, so I'm just gonna spread myself. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just let go of the lead rope. So I let go of the lead rope and I let Brandy go. She just started walking around, eating some of the bushes. And I was confident that she wouldn't run away because my horses are really used to being together. So if they ever get loose, they usually run back to their buddies, right? So I knew that Brandy wouldn't run away. She'd wanna stay close to Crystal or the other horses we were with. So I kind of just let her go. And then I just jumped off, walked up to her, picked up the lead rope again, and then got back on. So that wasn't anything too crazy, but there are a bunch of stories of horses getting loose in big trail parks and getting lost for weeks. But like I said, I was confident she wouldn't run away. So that's the second crazy thing that happened. Again, I wish I was vlogging. The last thing that happened that really broke my heart and like it sucks, I felt so bad. Like I said, they were all excited trotting back to the trailer. The horses start running and I'm here with Crystal and Brandy and they're starting to run. And then the trail starts getting narrower and narrower and I'm like trying to like slow her down while trying to keep Brandy behind Crystal. Crystal, and then we're getting closer and closer to a tree that's like almost in the middle of the trail And then Brandy's like almost in front of Crystal like this So Crystal can't move over to get out of the tree's way So she literally like ran into it Thankfully she was already slowing down so she was like at a trot almost at a walk But she literally like runs straight into it and it kind of gets her right here in the neck But then when she goes like this and it gets her in the neck She kind of headbutts Brandy Oh my god it was so crazy She gets hit by the tree and they both like headbutted each other And it just broke my heart I was like what the heck Thankfully they were they're both fine there's no swelling or anything crazy um, and there's no cuts or anything from the tree like thankfully There's no injuries no swelling. They don't seem to be in pain. So that's good But I was like, oh my god these poor babies. They freaking headbutted each other. She runs into a tree Oh my god, it was a crazy trail ride But um, it was a lot of fun and I feel like it was really good for Brandy I'm not gonna lie It is a handful to take her out sometimes just because you know There's a bunch of horses and the trails are thin and I gotta make sure she's not passing crystal and then like, you know It's it's just a lot to think about but I feel like it's worth it because of the exposure and she gets desensitized to all this stuff literally she's such a pro at trail riding now and she hasn't even been ridden so that's what my goal is and I'm really glad that um, I do take her out sometimes because I feel like that's really really good for horses especially when they're young because why wait right I mean a horse doesn't have to be rideable to be exposed to different scenarios or different environments right so yeah I'm really happy with Brandy she's been doing so good I feel like Crystal is the one that sometimes like oh Oh, and Brandy's just like so calm. She's like, what are you looking at? Am I supposed to be afraid right now? <laughs> so that's my little update on our trail ride. I know I was all over the place when we were riding. And of course, with Brandy and Crystal and my big fanny pack bouncing all over the place, like it was just too hard to pull out the camera sometimes. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video. Anyway, I still have a couple more things I need to do before this vlog is over. So if you want to stay, stay. I just have to go outside and feed the horses, check on Big Bird. And yeah, but before I do, I wanted to give you guys a little update on the brush, the tough one brush I used today. I don't know if I was able to vlog vlog my tacking up process because I was late and my camera also died. Here it is. It's like super dusty now. I actually really like it. I've never had a brush like this. Most of my brushes are kind of small and like the bristles are pretty short. Like I think they go up to there. So this is actually really cool. It's pretty long. It's pretty easy to like flick the dirt off. And also I've never seen a brush like this with two different bristles. I really like it and I'm definitely going to start using it more often. I feel like it takes out that extra step of using a finishing brush after brushing off the dirt Um, because you have both right here. You brush off the dirt with this side and then you have this side which is kind of softer to get that dirt that just lays on top so yeah this was really cool oh and I totally forgot when I was doing the unboxing I totally missed something so let me show you guys oh I didn't actually didn't even see this oh you guys I didn't even notice this it's a little folder they gave me some tough one bumper stickers that's cool I love this oh happy holidays from tough one you know what I think I'm gonna do a little mini giveaway right now to put on your trailer or maybe on your folder for school like how cool this tough one sticker all you have to do to enter oh I know leave me a comment down below letting me know the craziest thing that's ever happened to you on a trail ride Oh my god, I definitely want to know so that's all you have to do Also give this video a thumbs up and you're entered I'll pick two winners you guys and I'll write a little note for you now The thing I was actually talking about that I forgot to show you guys this right here I forgot to unbox it. It was like on the side of the box. I didn't even notice it This is a little blanket hanger. This is a collapsible blanket rack strong steel construction made to hold blankets sheets Coolers and even for airing out saddle pads and blankets. Ooh, I need that my saddle pads get so sweaty hangs on standard two-inch stall wall to keep tack rooms organized folds flat for 
for travel and storage. Here's a little picture of what it does. I don't know if you guys can see. Perfect. I love organization. So like I said earlier, I reached out to Tough One to see if they'd let me try out one of their blankets. And not only did they send me a blanket, but they were kind enough to send me all these other goodies. So thank you so, so much to Tough One. I really appreciate it. And I'm so excited to start using this stuff. All right, you guys. So I'm going to head outside. I'm actually going to change really quick into a different shirt because I think we might be going out to dinner. And I honestly don't know if you'd be interested in seeing that. But I'm going to bring you guys anyway. But yeah, I'm going to head outside, feed the horses, and check on Big Bird. I also have to unhitch the truck and head over because I think they're waiting for me. Why am I always the one running late? <laughs> Hi, Big Bird. Ooh, I gotta clean your cage in the morning. Let me turn on your little lamp because it's getting chilly. There you go. Oh yeah, I'm still recording. Hey guys. <laughs> was it good? It was spicy. Even it was a little cool. Uh, <laughs> good, 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 good. No, hold on. You see? How was your food? It hasn't gotten here yet. What are you drinking? Some agua. Drinking? I just got my food. I got a Buffalo Bill sandwich and some, some Chesapeake fries. They come with this amazing queso. They're making fun of the way I said queso. No. But it's good. Hey guys. So we are back at Sabrina's house. We just finished eating dinner. I just came over to hang out for a little bit before I head home. Today was so much fun. The horses did great on our trail ride. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. Actually, before I go, I wanna show you guys Sabrina's living room. I wanna see what it reminds you of. So I always tell Sabrina that her living room reminds me of Heartland. Just the wood walls and the fireplace and just everything gives me like a Heartland vibe. I love Heartland. I know a lot of you guys do too. I see your comments always talking about Heartland. So tell me if this gives you a Heartland vibe too. I hope the camera captures it, how it actually looks in real life, because you know sometimes the camera doesn't really get it. So let's see. Doesn't it? I feel like it totally looks like a Heartland set. She always, she doesn't get it. I tell her all the time it looks like Heartland. She says, she, do you, you don't think so? Mm -mm. Do you even watch Heartland? Heartland? Like, do you even watch Heartland? That's an insult. First of all, <laughs> Heartland, this is how much I watch Heartland. Heartland has stones on their fireplace. I have brick. Ooh, a real fan. That's real true. fan. That's true. Amy all the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess it's the wood walls. I think the wood walls kind of. Because this give isn't it. even wood like like it is, but it's not like the wood like Heartland has. But still, it's pretty close. So. Whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along on our little trail ride. Don't forget to give this a <laughs> Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> subscribe. I'm red. My face looks. Because you keep making me laugh. Your face looks yellow, and mine looks red, dude. Go back. So we'll to what? <laughs> Go back. <laughs> It's because of the lights, it makes you look red. Okay, then do it this way. Better? Oh god. <laughs> Better. Alright guys, that is <laughs> Okay. Alright you guys, now that is it. <laughs> Please don't forget to give it the... What is happening? <laughs>